What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Madison. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation review, kind of like one of those first impression reviews. I've done a few already on my channel. I'm going to link them down below in case you guys want to see them. Uh, but the other day I picked up a new foundation and I really wanted to try it out for you guys because I've never tried any type of face product from Tarte before. Um, so I picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation and I heard that this is supposed to be like God sent for oily skin. It also says it's supposed to last around 12 hours so I'm going to try to wear it for the full 12 hours. If not, I'm going to get pretty darn close. <laughs> Before I start, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. I upload three times a week. And I have a few really special videos coming up pretty soon. I haven't really filmed them yet, but I'm in the works of it. So if that intrigues you at all, then definitely subscribe. Right now, before I apply any foundation to my face, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about the foundation and some of the claims that it has. So I have the shade Tan Deep Sand, and it's for tan skin with yellow undertones. In case you guys want a color reference, I just have another foundation here I'm going to compare it to just so you guys have something to base it off of. So in the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, I'm in the shade 5.0. So you get 1.7 fluid ounces, whereas in the Naked Skin, you only get one ounce. And here's just them side by side so you guys can kind of see this size comparison. I don't know if you guys know this, but Tarte is actually cruelty free and this product is vegan friendly, which is super cool. I totally approve of that. It's an oil free foundation and it has Amazonian clay in it as the name kind of hints at. <laughs> There's also no parabens, sulfates, and I'm gonna butcher this word, but it's like phthalates, phthalates, phthalates. I'm gonna write it on the screen. I've never seen that word before. Is that bad? That's probably so bad. <laughs> so some of the claims that it has is that it's supposed to be 12 hours. You're supposed to have a flawless coverage. Um, it's supposed to blend out really nicely as well. Um, it is a full coverage foundation, so I'm hoping that I won't see any of my, you know, redness underneath, but we'll check that in a second. So it says it's skin smart, and this was something that I don't really know too, too much about. I was just kind of like skin smart. What is that? I think what skin smart means is that if you've got excessively oily places, the clay is meant to like soak it up just to give you like an even texture around your skin I'm pretty sure that that's what it means that's at least what I got from skin smart made in the USA and it should last you 12 months and also in Canada this retails for $51 so it doesn't say anywhere in the claims or on the bottle that it has an SPF to it so it should look really good in photos but we're gonna take like a flash test later on just to double check we can talk about the packaging really quick I like the fact that it doesn't use a lot of extra packaging because I feel like you really are getting and you're paying for the product inside. Whereas with other foundations, sometimes you feel like you're paying for the glass bottle. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I hope that it works and I hope that it turns out really well because this could be the best foundation for oily skin ever. We just have to wait and see. So I'm just gonna prime first. I'm trying to get rid of this little sample, so I'm just gonna use it. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm not quite sure how it's gonna apply. So I have a brush for one part of my face and a beauty blender for the other. I'm gonna try using a brush first. I'm gonna try on this side. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just put a little dot because I'm not quite sure how much I need. I think that was about like half of a pea-sized amount. Um, the brush I'm using is this buffing brush from Real Techniques. It didn't really cover much. I felt like maybe it's just the brush. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm gonna take like another sort of pea-sized amount and I'm gonna just gonna dot it around a bit more of my face. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender for this because honestly, I just love beauty blenders and makeup sponges. I just prefer the way that they apply. Like the brush wasn't bad. I just feel like, you know, I just prefer beauty blenders. Wow, so my skin looks really good. Okay, so this is what one layer of the foundation looks like on. So at first I was like, maybe it's more of a medium coverage that you have to build up, but I definitely think it is full coverage. Um, The thing is though, it's not cakey at all. I feel like it just melted right into my skin. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. It just looks like a layer of my skin, which I really, really love. Oh my gosh. My skin just looks so soft and airbrushed. I'm gonna build it up on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose to see if it can build. I feel like after you put a layer on and then you blend it out, it just kind of melts and transforms into your skin texture. It's really cool. Like, it looks so good. There was no difference applying it to my prime side versus my non-prime side, so, like, that's pretty cool. It is still, like, a little bit tacky. I am gonna go ahead and, like, set it with a powder and everything like that just so it doesn't budge. And it does transfer a little bit onto your fingers, if you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'll do it, like... Yeah, can you see that? So I think on camera the shade match is absolutely perfect. Um, 
but in real life I feel like it is a little too pink. I think my neck is just really really yellow so it's honestly really hard for me to find a foundation that matches that. I think if you just blend it down your neck properly like it's gonna be perfect. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see like really really up close. Up close and personal. I'm actually so dumb I forgot to do a flash test. Let's do that right now. <laughs> so the flash test went well. I think it looks amazing under flash photography so this might be something you guys want to look out for if you're going to a photo shoot or if you're taking like a class picture or something. But what I'm going to do now is just finish off my makeup and then come back and talk to you guys. I just finished up my makeup so I put the concealer on. I set it all in place. I used a What's it called? A setting spray and this is what it looks like. It still feels amazing. It looks really good. I have no complaints. Nothing's really changed. I think it took me like 15 minutes to put on my makeup so not not really much room for change in that amount of time. So right now it's 12.30 and I'm about to run out and do some errands. I'm gonna go outside. Ugh. There's no difference between the prime side and the unprimed side. They look exactly the same. Um, I do have a ton of highlighter on so if it looks a little bit dewy that is why. Yeah so I don't really have much to say because not much is changed but I'll check back in with you guys as soon as I get back from my errands. Hey guys, I am back. It is 4 p.m. now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I ran my errands. I had to walk all the way to the store, which took me around 45 minutes each way. So I have been sweating. It was hot outside. Well, actually, I don't even think it was that hot. I, of course, just wore the wrong clothes. The sun was just beating directly down on me and... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was just a little bit of a trek. I'm curious to see how my foundation has held up. I haven't looked in the mirror or touched up or anything at all, and it's been around four and a half hours. It looks really good. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh my gosh. A little bit of my oil is starting to come through on my nose, but I feel like the highlight that I put there is just kind of accentuating it because there isn't a lot. Like, it's not a lot. Like, I wouldn't even blot right now, you know? It's not excessive. My blush is on perfectly. My highlight is on perfectly brows, eyeshadow is still completely matte. Usually I get pretty oily around my eyelids, so that was, that's, that's kind of a cool thing. Everything looks exactly like it did when I first applied it. It's kind of cool. I like this. I guess I'm just going to continue to do some activities and then I'll come back later and show you guys what has happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. Sorry that this update isn't very helpful. It's just, it still looks amazing. It looks exactly the same as it did when I first applied it, so... It's weirding me out. This is really good. Hey guys, I am back. It is now 9 o'clock p.m. My original plan was to check in a few more times throughout the day, but I honestly just noticed that nothing was changing with the foundation. It looked exactly the same, like uh, nothing really was different. So um, I think that this might be my last check-in. I'm kind of at that point where I just want to take off my makeup, relax, finish watching Suits, because I'm obsessed with Suits right now. I'm on season five. If you guys watch Suits, give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, but I basically just just wanted to kind of get ready for bed, settle down a little bit, um, and just take my makeup off. I honestly think that the foundation looks amazing. So it's getting really greasy around my nose, and this is the point where I would probably blot it off. So I'm going to do that. I just have some, like, tissue right here, and I'm just going to blot. So I do think that it looks a little bit more oily than it actually is, just because of my highlight. But I uh, do think that like you'd need to blot around now for sure. It has melted a little bit around my nose and that's kind of where foundations usually melt for me. So I feel like that's sort of normal. Um, it looks amazing. Like the coverage is great. It doesn't look like it's worn off anywhere, especially around my mouth because as I was cleaning earlier, I remember like accidentally knocking my face and it doesn't look like it's worn away at all. Yeah, it still looks good. The only place of concern is around my nose where I have some large pores. I feel like it's kind of sunken into the pores just a little bit, but not as much as a lot of other foundations that I have. Highlight is still there. My contour is still there. My blush is still there. Like it's a very long wearing foundation. I'm so surprised. So yeah, my eyes... Oh my gosh. My eyeshadow is still matte. Everything is still on my face, like, completely. It looks really good still. I feel like you definitely could go the full 12 hours with this. Just make sure you bring, like, a blotting paper and some uh, powder. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to put a powder on top of it just to see how it looks. After eight and a half hours, I definitely feel like you could go the full 12 hours for sure. Especially if you powder, like with the powder on, it looks like I just applied it. It's still really nice and fresh looking. It's not cakey. It did melt around my nose a little bit, as I said earlier. But other than that, like it just looks so good. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Alright, so my final verdict of this foundation, did it work for me? 
Did it pass? Yes, it did. I really like this foundation. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to try to experiment in a few more different ways uh, just to see how long wearing this truly is. I definitely would purchase this again. This is so nice. I can't even believe it. Of course, this is my first impression. I got to use it a few more times, but to be honest, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys judge for yourself. Let me know down below what you guys thought of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review, and if it was helpful to you at all, please give this video a thumbs up. And and if you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe. I upload three times a week now, which is pretty cool. If you guys have another foundation you guys want me to try, then let me know down below. Uh, I'd love to try out something that you guys recommend or something you're wondering about. If you want more information about this foundation, I'm going to link it down below. And I feel like it sounds like an ad, but it's not sponsored at all. I mean, I wish because this was so good. But like, <laughs> I'm, this video is not a sponsored video. I actually like, truly like this a lot. I walked so far today. I'm just actually amazed pretty hot and this did not budge i feel like it should be like melted off my face and on the ground thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing if you do i will talk to you guys in my next video all right peace for these stupid 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 bags <laughs> lemons are still kind of expensive so i just got this real lemon stuff from concentrate don't yell at me oh my gosh